It's October 3rd. It's October 3rd. Do you know what today is? Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film an unboxing. I got some stuff from PR, that from PR, NPR. How do the YouTubers say it? I don't know, I'm, I'm still new to this whole thing. So I got some stuff sent to me and I was super excited to open it with you guys. A certain someone in this house opened one of the boxes before I got to it. I'm not gonna say who it was, I'm just gonna say it wasn't me and it wasn't Dash, so. So anyways, I'm so excited to unbox this stuff with you guys because a certain someone opens it. I know one of the items that is actually in the box and I was super mad because I was like, now I can't even be genuinely surprised on camera because I know what one of the items are because you told me. Why did you tell me? Why? So um, yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and get to the unboxing. Oh, and obviously today is October 3rd. Mean Girls Day. It is also not only October 3rd, it is a Wednesday. What do we wear on Wednesdays? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. We wear pink, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm dressed accordingly. You're welcome. Let's get started on the unboxing. All right, so the first item that I'm gonna unbox is what I already have started to open by I, I mean, not me. Um, and the item that I'm gonna pull out is one that I was told about because I wasn't aware of anything else. So the first item that I am not surprised about is the Nubian Heritage Indian Hemp and Haitian Vetiver. Oh, by the way, um, Shea Moisture sent me this, or I guess I should say, what is their brand name? Sundial, I don't know how I forgot about this. So I guess not Shea Moisture, I guess I could say Sundial sent this to me. So anyways, yeah, this is the Indian Hemp and Haitian Vetiver 24 Hour Deodorant. It has neem oil, oh wow, documented in Sanskrit for 4,000 years, and hemp cultivated for skincare in China as early as 4,000 BC, combined to fresh and moisture to fresh, to refresh and moisturize delicate underarms. So, and it's aluminum free. One thing I noticed is as Americans, we mispronounce a lot of things. One of those things being aluminum. It is actually aluminium, aluminium. I think the saying it, basically aluminum is wrong, but I think it's aluminium is how it is supposed to be pronounced, but we don't say it correctly. So anyway, this is 24 hour deodorant. Is this all natural? Huh. It doesn't explicitly state that it's all natural, but I'm not seeing any of these parabens and stuff in it. I'm going to look more into it that I normally see in deodorant, so I'm super excited. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my IG story like a couple days ago. I mentioned that I switched back. I can't say switch because it wasn't intentional, but I had been using um traditional deodorant for a while now for like gosh i don't know how long but anyways i switched back because i hadn't gotten a chance to get the whole foods in like gosh it's been like a month and anyways it like not even traditional deodorant like works for me anymore it like clocks out early which is hateful damn it smells good oh very light pleasant scent i'm getting a little bit of lemongrass vibes okay okay <laughs> I will be using her and if you want to know why I don't or shouldn't be using traditional deodorant I will link down my I will link it down let me love you down that's what I mean to think of I will link my video down below explaining why I chose to switch and why I need to go back uh, because I'm basically ruining my life by using traditional deodorant. Moving right along, this next one is Indian Hemp and Haitian Vetiver. Oh, hand cream. I love hand cream. I need a good hand cream. It has, <laughs> it has the, uh, the aluminum on top. <laughs> I get smell. Does this one have lemongrass in it? I don't know, maybe it's the vetiver, but anyways, it says high in essential fatty acids and antioxidants. Neem oil soothes skin, leaving hands feeling soft and smooth. So I'm excited about her. She's cute. I'll let y'all know how I feel about this. Hey. This next one is body wash. It's softening and moisturizing. I definitely will be using this. You guys know my favorite, well, it's not even just body wash, but it's kind of multi-purpose, but my favorite thing to use is the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Castile Soap. So I am always interested in, who texted me? Oh. Uh, anyways, I'm always interested in finding new body wash. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about this. I'm assuming it's all supposed to be softening since, you know, 
the neem oil hence the neem oil this is body lotion i will be using this an aromatic body lotion okay come through with the aromatics then let me let me see if it's aromatic don't tell me it's aromatic i'll tell you She's slightly aromatic. We'll see. I'll let you know if you're aromatic. Don't tell me. So you call me, I call you. What is this? Has this? Oh no, a little bit of this is spilled, but this is the, oh, shea butter. Oh, I really like the way that smells. Mm, hey, why does, oh, oh, it's so smooth. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Gosh, it's so buttery, hence it being butter, butter of shea. Can I say shea butter like that? I actually don't want to say shea butter like that. If I hear someone say it like that, that'll just irritate me. Like, I don't know. Just when people say stuff like, you ever hear someone speak and you feel like they're just throwing in all types of synonyms, like they like wrote something out, use like Microsoft Word and then just like picked all the synonyms to make themselves sound more intelligent. I hate when people speak in parables like that. Like it makes my eczema flare up. So irritating. But um, I digress. So this is the, oh yes, y'all know I'm here for a hand and body scrub. Y'all know I'm obsessed with Shea Moisture's hand and body scrubs. So let me see what this Nubian Heritage hand and body scrub be like. strong as I thought it would be but I hope it's as abrasive as the other one is because I like it like that so I'll definitely update you guys I'm gonna update you guys on all of this but y'all know I'm definitely here for a hand scrub and this is the bar soap okay so pretty much all of this is body stuff I had no idea honestly but I'm really excited I love skincare so let me know if you guys kind of want to see a video review on all of these at once. I kind of feel like it makes sense for me to do all of it at once because they're all body care. And I probably would literally use every single one of these every single day with the exception of the bar soap and the body wash, I would alternate, but everything else I would pretty much use every day. So comment down below, let a player know if you want to see a review on this, even though I'll probably do it anyway. But um, yeah, thanks Sundial or Shea Moisture. Not really sure who to thank, but I'm happy it's here and I'm grateful. All right. So excited. Y'all remember that show Ruby that used to come on? I think it came on, was it like style or something like that? And she was always saying, I'm so excited. I love the way she said excited. All right, so this is from Mark Anthony. And, oh, I thought I was gonna have to do some. Oh my gosh, it came so cute. Look at this, you guys. It came like all nice and cute and wrapped up and it has a little card. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, thanks guys. Thanks, Mark Anthony. So this is cute. Has a little, their little label. Oh, <laughs> I'm out of frame, my bad. Has their little label on it. Let's rip through this. Oh, okay. She came in a bag, okay. So she's cute, cute. She came in a bag, boo boo. See what you're about. And I've actually never used any Mark Anthony products before. I always see them. I think it's Ulta that I always see them in. And for some reason, I thought like they weren't catered to our hair. I don't know why. I guess because I don't know much about it. So I'm really excited to try this. This one. So I used to love me some foam back in the day, some mousse. My hair was crunchy, it was in shambles, but I loved it. So hopefully this is a better version of the mousse slash foam I used to use. But this is the Perfect Curl 7-in-1 Leave-In Treatment Foam. It says it defrizzes, defines, moisturizes, detangles, smooths, softens, and shines. So, okay, and it's free from sulfates, parabens, and phthalates. <laughs> okay, <laughs> kinda wanna see what it smells like. Why am I, why am I spraying? Oh! Why would y'all give a child like me something that explosive? It smells a little lemony. Lemon. We need more lemon pleasure. I'm not about to start this in this video. I'm not doing that again. Lemon pleasure. Okay. All right. Get out of here, Consuela. Alrighty, the next item is the 100% extra virgin coconut oil and shea butter hydrating curl cream. Ooh. This eliminates frizz, tangles, and defines curls with extra hold and added shine. I never believe these people when they say extra hold. Like, how extra is extra? Let me know. Hmm. 
I'm not sure how extra the hole can be, but the consistency feels cute and I'm excited about it. Sorry, I just don't want products to go to waste. So after I rub it on my hand, I'm not gonna, but it's, mm, it's not a super thick consistency. It reminds me of, I'm trying to think of a comparable product. I can't think of one off the top of my head, but it kind of feels in between like a gel and a cream, but uh, not like a super thick gel and cream combo. For some reason, my mind is failing me on what it is reminding me of. Hey, get out of here. All right, the next item is from their Strictly Curls line as well as that uh, foam that I showed you. And this is the Curl Defining Lotion. I'm interested to try this because usually like hair lotions don't really do much on my hair as far as hold. But um, it says it has humidity shield and it defines and locks in soft frizz free curls. So, you know, never judge a book by its cover, but I'm excited to try. I love trying new stuff. I'm so happy. Silk protein and vitamin E. Okay, my hair loves silk protein. Like, absolutely loves, 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 loves silk protein. And then this last one is, oh, 100% coconut oil, extra virgin hair and body. And it softens skin. So, I'm assuming this is just, is this like unrefined? Like, what is it? Is it just regular, schmegla, degla, cocoa butter? Because if it is, your girl can always use extra. Yeah, it's just cocoa butter. Okay, come through then. So just cocoa butter? The f am I talking about? Coconut oil. What? What does that even mean? Coconut oil. Cocoa butter, girl? This is not Palmer's. I love Palmer's, by the way. I use that little cocoa butter stick. It's chapstick because I'm basic. And I like it. All right, so let me know which one of these the well it's two different lines so i guess basically do you want to see the strictly curls items first or do you want to see the 100 percent coconut oil line first let me know i love stuff okay and this next box is also from mark anthony mind you i got that box like it's been a minute maybe like three weeks ago i just got this one Am I really showing like my whole address like to the world? I'm gonna use a bobby pin to open this because <laughs> I don't know what my box cutter is. Actually, I think my box cutter is in this room, but I'm not getting up from the seat. Sure, we're just gonna continue to thug it out. <laughs> I'm gonna make this work. It's famous last words before I break, I don't know. Lose a digit or cut through a tendon. <laughs> Why aren't you working? Fishy, why are you sleeping? What the f where is it? I'm back. So much easier. Sir! What the actual hell? I'm trying to film. Oh. No. Come here. All right. This reminds me of the I can't stand the rain video. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye. All right. This is the Mark Anthony Bye Bye Frizz line. Okay. And it comes with three items. Comes with two items. Lord, did I lose one? I think. All right, it comes with three items. They sent me two. And Lord, let me make sure I ain't got nothing already. First of all, I gotta get my life together. And this one came with the protecting leave-in conditioner and the, this cap came off of this one, and the Humidity Shield hairspray. Um, this, oopsies. I put it, I put it on too aggressively. But I haven't used hairspray in years. I'm really terrified of this. I don't know if it was made for my kind of hair. <laughs> um, so, wait, what is this? Oh no, it comes with more than three items. These are just a couple of items from it. I'm sorry, my bad. Reading is fundamental. But um, yeah, the hairspray and the leave-in conditioner. Um, this leave-in conditioner looks like I might be here for it. It says it strengthens and protects during styling, blocks humidity, and of course it's free of sulfates, thylates, all that jazz. It's lightweight, silicone free, humidity resistant. So I'm excited about this. This, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just, I just don't know how she's going to work out on here. 
The way my hair is set up. No bueno. Uh, I think that is... Yeah, so I think that's everything. So let me know what you guys are most excited to see and what you want to see me review next. I obviously have a ton of other videos that I still have to film for you guys because like I said, I was filming while I was absent. So there are a couple more videos that will definitely go up before whatever you guys choose from here that you want me to film next. But um, yeah, so I think that is it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have I been crooked this whole time? Have I been off-centered this whole time?